I was inspired to make this wall hanging by something I saw on Etsy. Making and adding a boho inspired piece of art to your home is easy with Dollar Tree clay. I absolutely love this pretty little addition to my laundry room. Seriously, this DIY clay wall hanging is simple to create and it just adds a little bit of texture to my wall. It's just that beautiful. So all that you will need is two bags of Crafter Square Air Dry Clay, silver beads, three of them, a rolling pin, some parchment paper, a piercing and cutting tool, some leather string, chalk paint, and a little bit of water. Now, what you want to do first is you want to spread the parchment paper over your surface. So you'll need to tear off two pieces. You're going to open your Crafter Square air dry clay and you can see it's really good to massage the clay first to get it a little bit softer. And then you can put it between the two pieces of your parchment paper. Then you want to take your rolling pin and flatten it until it's about a fourth of an inch thick. You do not want it too thin because it will crack easily. So about a fourth of an inch is about what would be good for this project. Then you want to start off by shaping the top bead. So you can make the top bead round or you can make it a little on the square side. And I took my piercing tool and put a opening in the middle from the top to the bottom so that I could see through it. And you want to make it big enough so that you can get your leather thread through there or you can get some jute or whatever product you want to use to thread it through. Then you want to shape your other pieces. Now, I shaped one that looked like a shoe, but you can shape yours any way that you want. I mean, the, the, it's endless, the shapes that you can use. And then the other one is like a big, large teardrop, and the other is kind of like a wannabe comma. You want to shape with your hands and then your X-Acto knife to get the shape that you need. When this dries, it will dry a little rough. So to get it to be more smooth, then what you want to do is add some water to your fingers and smooth over your shape. Now, after you've poked a hole in the top bead, your next largest piece, which is your middle piece, you want to poke one hole in the top of the large middle piece and to poke three holes in the bottom of that same piece because you will need to connect your three pieces to the bottom or however many pieces that you decide that you would like to use. I use the piercing tool to poke holes into the top and bottom and one little thing that I learned is that you want to make the hole a little bit larger because when it dries it tends to shrink a little bit and you really want to get your leather piece or your jute through there and also make sure that each piece is lined up in the center then you will let it air dry now you need to let it air dry naturally do not rush the process like putting it outside in the hot sun because you will get cracking and then your piece will not be any good and then you will have to start over. Now once the pieces have air dried, then you can start painting. I painted all of the pieces with white chalk paint, front, back, and sides. And the reason why I did that is because your piece will not be stark white. Because of the clay is brown, some of that will seep through and you will find out that it's more like an off-white piece. But you can paint it any color that you like. Now it's time to start stringing all your pieces together. You wanna first stop, start with your top bead 
and it needs to be large enough in the middle where you can string two pieces of leather, maybe small shoelace. So you want to double them and you want to string that down the middle, tie it at the top so that it will have something to hold on to. And then now you are ready to attach it to your largest so string the pieces together, then tie a knot in the middle between each piece. And you're going to thread a bead through there, and I chose to do silver beads. Now it is all together, and I really like the way it turned out. And now since I had a few things figured out, I plan to make something really cool. So keep watching and remember to smile because it takes more muscles when you frown than it does to smile. If you have liked what you've seen, please like, save, comment, and subscribe. It really helps my channel out.